I think it will. It will affect trade in the country. Uh, there's a lot of closed down. A lot of banks moving over. So there's different industries coming into Ireland. I think traditionally that they're the sort of industries we're looking for in the country. Uh, it will affect agriculture. Talking about shut down around 40%. So it'll affect jobs. Um, but I think it'll promote jobs also. So six of one and half a dozen the other. Well, what's going on over there, I rather not think about because it's a bloody shambles. I draw. Your woman, holy God. Oh, they're all gone nuts, really they are. I haven't a clue. I'm living in Germany at the moment and generally talking to people on the street there in like in restaurants, if they hear the Irish accent, they think you're English straight off the bat and then they start talking about Brexit and when you say you're Irish, they go, okay, that's fantastic. Kind of like, let's get, let's get these out of Europe. That's the general attitude. They're not too bothered by it. They don't even see it as a problem. There are preparations being made. In, as an individual, absolutely no impact whatsoever. Not worried about it. In fact, I think it's going to, there'll be more, more work in Ireland, as I said, because of it. Um, but as an individual, no preparations and no impact whatsoever. Delight for them. I don't think the Irish are preparing. Maybe they're not believing it's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel uh, they're very... Uh, they're very quiet about it. I say they should just leave, leave the EU and that's what most of Europe want at, at this point, like living outside Ireland. Most of Europe are kind of like just tired of it all the time. They hear about it and they know that uh, Britain was never really kind of like fully into Europe. They were always, you know, the whole narrative around, <laughs> you know, changing the size of bananas and all this kind of stuff. It's all rubbish and the most Europeans in Germany and France know that and they just want to get on with it and like sick of listening to it I think at this point. Although I don't really know if it's going to happen as at the moment they're, well, they're pushing it back further I think so let's see maybe there's going to even be a second referendum. I think Theresa May has had a very difficult run of it um, I don't think anyone else will do better rather they'll just pack it in and I was talking to a guy recently about uh, if I was a betting man how do I think it would go and uh, I suggested that uh, if there was a, uh, a bet to say that there will be another referendum in 2020 uh, voting against Brexit, I'd put my house on it. I'd put the mortgage on it. So there, that's where I think it'll go.